Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsland and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 10th of October. PM Modi arrives at Laos, accords with ceremonial guard of honor. India bids goodbye to its most beloved industrialist. And Pakistan calls for climate diplomacy with India to tackle smog ahead of winter season. Kings. <laughs> And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday embarked on a two-day visit to Laos where he will be attending the 21st ASEAN India and the 19th East Asia Summits. Upon arrival, the Prime Minister was welcomed by the Minister of Home Affairs of Laos, Vilya Wong Budhkam, and was also accorded a ceremonial guard of honour. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi also witnessed an episode of Falak Falam, the Lao adaption of Ramayan. He interacted with the artists and also posed for a picture with them. He also participated in a blessing ceremony by senior Buddhist monks of the Central Buddhist Fellowship Organization of Laos. PM Modi is expected to hold various bilateral meetings on the margins of the ASEAN India Summit and the East Asia Summit. The ASEAN-India Summit will review the progress of India-ASEAN relations through comprehensive strategic partnership and chart the future direction of cooperation. On the other hand, the East Asia Summit contributes to building an environment of strategic trust in the region and provides an opportunity for leaders of EAS participating countries, including India, to exchange views on issues of regional importance. India on Thursday bid farewell to veteran industrialist and Tata Group's chairman emeritus Ratan Tata, who passed away on Wednesday night. 86-year-old industrialist, who ran the conglomerate for more than 20 years as chairman, had been undergoing intensive care in a Mumbai hospital. Reliance Industries chairman Mukesh Ambani and his wife Neeta Ambani paid their last respects to the iconic industrialist, who will be remembered for generations. Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde also announced a day of mourning on Thursday to honour the legendary industrialist and philanthropist. Among India's most respected and loved industrialist, Ratan Tata took Tata Group to new heights and touched the fabric of the nation through his contributions across different areas, including philanthropy. Condolences have poured in from politicians to Bollywood actors. आज का दिन बहुत ही दुख भरा है हम सब के लिए पूरे देश के लिए रतन जी ने जो कंट्रीब्यूशन दिया है उनकी कंपनी टाटा उनसे पहले से और उनके लीडरशिप में जो कंट्रीब्यूशन दिया है देश के लिए वो अमूल्य है। He was really remarkable person and I think if you look at the outpouring today. Uh, of feeling, of affection, of respect, of regard. I mean, I can't remember anybody, you know, uh, honestly, in the world of industry who's evoked this kind of emotion uh, among people across a very, very uh, wide cross-section. I mean, it is truly uh, seen as a national loss. Pakistan's Punjab's Chief Minister, Maryam Nawaz Sharif, on Wednesday called for climate diplomacy with neighbour and arc rival India to combat smog ahead of the winter months, which are accompanied by dangerous levels of pollution in both nations. Relations between India and Pakistan have gone through periods of thaw but have been largely frozen since they downgraded diplomatic ties in tit-for-tat moves in 2019. When cooler temperatures take hold, pollution spirals. The Pakistani city of Lahore and India's capital New Delhi are among the most polluted cities in the world. Air quality deteriorates in cooler months as temperature inversion traps pollution closer to the ground, packing hospital wards with patients with respiratory problems. 
Rising air pollution can cut life expectancy by more than five years per person in South Asia, one of the world's most polluted regions, according to a report published last year, which flagged the growing burden of hazardous air on health. The air is coming from the air. Indian Punjab, which is stubble burning, is coming from the air. We should also talk about it. We should also talk about it. We should also do diplomacy with India. We should also do it with India. क्योंकि विंड की डायरेक्शन भी होती है जो एक्शंस हमें यहाँ ले रहे हैं वो हम इंडियन पंजाब को भी लेने चाहिए ताकि वहाँ के लोग और यहाँ के लोग दोनों जो हैं वो इन तकलीफ से बचें मॉलदीव प्रेसिडेंट मोहम्मद मुइजू इज ऑन अ फाइव डे विजिट टू इंडिया ऑन वेंसडे एम्फोसाइज इंडियाज रोल एज अ लीडर इन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इनोवेशन एज दिन नेशन स्टैंड ऑन अ ब्रिंक ऑफ डिजिटल रेवोल्यूशन Speaking at the India Maldives Business Forum in Bangalore, Muizu stressed the importance of India Maldives collaboration in achieving a digital and sustainable future for the Maldives. He highlighted the integration of digital financial services, the launch of the rupee card, and the Maldives' commitment to climate action and multilateralism. He further stated that his administration's efforts to expand the digital economy through the launch of the Maldives Creative Economic Strategy aimed at revitalizing technology-driven industries as well as arts and media. Muizu later expressed his gratitude to the government of India, the Indian business community and all those involved in making his visit a success. This is the second time Muizu is visiting India this year after attending the swearing-in ceremony of Prime Minister Narendra Modi earlier this June. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs on Wednesday emphasized the urgent need for approximately $603.5 million to support critical winter preparedness activities in Afghanistan. These funds will address essential needs such as shelter upgrades, warm clothing and supply pre-positioning to assist vulnerable communities ahead of the harsh winter season. The funds will be used to upgrade shelters, provide warm clothing and pre-position essential supplies before the onset of harsh winter conditions. The focus is on addressing the needs of the most vulnerable communities to prevent severe hardship during the cold season. The report indicated that to implement the plan, $603.5 million is urgently needed to support key winter preparedness activities such as upgrading shelters and providing warm clothing. Before the harsh winter weather cuts off access, an additional $104 million is required to pre-position supplies, particularly for food and livelihood assistance. The urgent funding required for winter preparedness highlights the growing need for international donors to step up their support, especially as Afghanistan faces a colder, harsher winter this year. Failing to meet these financial needs will likely lead to severe humanitarian consequences. Over 20 Chinese nationals suspected to be involved in cybercrime have been arrested from a suburban area near Colombo where they were staying without a valid visa. Acting on a tip-off, police raided the hotel and seized five laptops, 437 mobile phones including two iPhones, 17 routers and other accessories, all materials suspected to be linked to potential financial frauds, local media said, quoting police. Earlier in the week, 30 Chinese individuals and six others were taken into custody in connection with similar activities in the same region. As Gujarat celebrates Vikas Saptaha, commemorating 23 years of its transformative journey under the guidance of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the state's remarkable success is becoming a premier tourist destination stands out. Take a look. As Gujarat celebrates Vikas Sapta, commemorating 23 years of its transformative journey under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the state's remarkable success in becoming a premier tourist destination stands out. During his tenure as Chief Minister from 2001 to 2014, Modi showcased Gujarat's hidden gems to the world, launching the Kushbu Gujarat Ki campaign in 2005 to boost tourism. He emphasized the development of an ecosystem to connect major tourist attractions through improved infrastructure, facilitating a seamless experience for visitors. This initiative sparked a surge in both domestic and international tourism. Festivals like Ran Utsav, Navaratri, 
and the Tarnetar Fair gained national prominence, establishing Gujarat as a vibrant tourist hub, a momentum that has only strengthened since Modi became Prime Minister in 2014. Gujarat boasts numerous national parks and wildlife sanctuaries, with Gir National Park serving as the sole habitat for the majestic Asiatic lions. As Chief Minister, Narendra Modi championed conservation efforts by implementing anti-poaching laws and enhancing infrastructure. The Khushbu Gujarat Ki campaign further elevated Gir's profile, drawing ecotourism and wildlife enthusiasts from around the globe. Today, Gir's rich ecosystem and its thriving population of Asiatic lions make it a premier destination for jungle safaris and nature lovers, offering unforgettable experiences in the heart of nature. Gujarat has unveiled stunning adventure and ecotourism destinations like Saputara and Gira waterfalls, which attract nature lovers with their breathtaking landscapes, diverse flora and fauna, and opportunities for outdoor activities. In addition to its natural beauty, the state's rich cultural heritage showcased through majestic forts, intricate step wells and ancient temples captivates tourists with its vibrant historical tapestry. The development of the Sabarmati River front and the launch of the Akshar River cruise in Ahmedabad have further enhanced Gujarat's appeal offering unique experiences along the scenic river. The Statue of Unity, inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi as the world's tallest statue, stands as a tribute to Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel's legacy. This symbol of unity and national pride draws visitors from across the globe, further enriching Gujarat's cultural significance. Yeah, Gujarat, our Bahar, it means uh, in uh, India, that uh, tourism is developing like uh, anything. It is very, uh, uh, it's, uh, very open to uh, all world to visit our uh, uh, these tourism places. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.